what are the authentic books to study of Islam? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. What are the authentic books of Islam to read it? The first authentic book, which is like a direct revelation of Allah, that is a Quran, definitely. And the second authentic book is the Hadith book. And among the Hadith book, there's a, a six popular Hadith books. Now, from the six Hadith books that somebody has to to learn about the science and the classification of hadith and and to learn how to how to filter the hadith how to know which one is fabricated which which one is zaif hasan and sahih hadith so he has to learn on that and uh, you can study any books of those scholars uh, whose aqidah is pure who believe there is only one creator and of those uh, who believe to follow the teachings of the Prophet and by any scholar who write for an example if I write a book and uh, and I believe Allah is one and I believe I follow a uh, Sahih Hadith only so I might come uh, with writing a good book on some topic but within the topic if I start talking about some other stuff some awliyas and some bullies and some other scholars said that some other scholars said that as a knowledge you can read it but you are not allowed to, to follow my book you are allowed to follow only Quran and you are allowed to follow only the Sahih Hadith that is an authentic teaching so you can read and you can listen to any scholars you want but you can stick to the Quran and you the you investigate yourself and you search yourself the more you search Allah will show you the the right way go to the Quran and go to understand the Arabic language go to learn um, what is the Hadith and how to interpret the Hadith and how um, the differences between the Hadith so you can stick to the to the authentic teachings of Islam but other than that it is it is basically a free will you can just like uh, read any scholar's book just to learn what he is saying what he is saying what he is saying but just go back to do not follow what other scholars say you need to go back to what you can get an opinion from any scholars but you have to stick to the teachings of the Quran what Allah says number two what the Prophet ﷺ said these are the two things you have to stick with that this is an authentic thing other than everything else is an opinion like for example there's a four great scholars of Imam Shafi, Imam Ibn Hanbal, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik or Amtullah may Allah bless all of them all of them give their own opinion it does not make them which is contradicting Quran or the Hadith it is their opinions so by the opinions even it's a four scholars or the five scholars or you get an opinion from me or you can get an opinion from anyone it's just an opinion we are not supposed to be uh, sticking to one opinion but rather you want to stick with something that is Quran and the Sahih Hadith and everything else you have the choice to choose whatever you want and may Allah forgive that if you make a mistake or anything but you rather stick to the Quran and you stick to the Sahih teachings of the Prophet Sallallahu